So many bees. Way too many bees. Hey, and welcome to another episode of Chaos Craft. Yes, I finally got around to updating Chaos Craft to use 1.15.1 from 1.12.1. So I'm by no means the biggest Minecraft expert. Um, as a matter of fact, I rely heavily on others uh, that are on my Discord. Thank you, everybody. I've learned that 1.13 from 1.12 is a massive breaking change. So like everything changed. So it's not like I can just easily pick this up and go with it. So we started from the beginning, scrapped a lot of stuff, started with a vanilla 1.15 mod and then started porting everything over. Currently, we've got it so it's somewhat functional, but not at all wired in with the neurons. So the next steps are to wire in the neural nets served up by ChaosNet, the back end I programmed for the original set of mods. But before I do that, I started to investigate RT Neat or real time Neat. It's a similar way to how we already did it with Neat, but there are a few differences. RT Neat, according to Wikipedia, is very similar to Neat, except ideally it'll get rid of that massive species generation end gap that we had before. It also make it so we don't have to constantly keep resetting these guys and killing them off. We can actually modify their brains on the fly. See here, the neural network can be removed from a body and replaced without doing anything to the body, in this case, the org. This should help us with another problem we were having, which was that we may have been replacing the organisms too quickly. Uh, this will allow them to accumulate stuff or build things and not be swapped out while their minds continue to evolve. This also might blow up in our face and make learning really slow, but what's new? So here's the plan. This is a swim lane diagram. Google it if you don't know what it is. But we've got three parties here. Chaos Craft Client, that's what runs on your machine typically. Chaos Craft Server, you could run one of these, but I'll be running one. And Chaos Net, which is the back end that does all the tracking and scoring and all the stuff that I host. So here's the flow. When you log into the client on your machine, it sends over a quick message to the server identifying you. The server then uses that information to authenticate you against Chaos Net so we can help store and record your neural nets learning process. Once that's done, your client then reaches out to Chaos Net to retrieve the next batch of neural nets for training. We then respond with the latest batch of neural nets so you can start simulating. The client then sends those neural nets to the server to start their voyage through the world. Periodically, when they achieve something or if they're just boring us, we send out a request to the chaos net server for a mutated neural net. That's the same neural net with additional neurons. Occasionally, they will actually die or age out. In that case, We'll request a new neural net from that species, and I'm still figuring out how species are going to work, from ChaosNet. We then put that back in the simulation. Eventually, we'll get it so that they can actually meet other organisms, and they can breed with each other. When this happens, they'll send both the organism IDs to ChaosNet, and ChaosNet will then generate a new organism based on both those neural nets. So that's the plan. Now, before I go any further, I've got some big news. Okay, it's not actually big news, but we got a puppy in my place, which is pretty awesome. So that's why I'm slower to put out videos right now. All right, let's talk next steps. First thing I gotta do is to make it talk to ChaosNet. Since we started off with the vanilla 1.15 mod and ported things over, it is not connected yet. Then we have to load a neural net, make it actually start processing. That should be pretty simple. Then we have to spawn a bot. 1.15 has a totally different spawning mechanism, I'm told, so I have to figure out how that works. And finally, we need to finish the 1.15 wiring, which is probably going to be the most massive endeavor because so much has changed. And finally, the last part, which will probably be difficult, but it's extremely important, is the first-person debug mode, which means I take over a organism or bot in the game and actually can use it to debug whether or not those neural nets are actually firing the synapses or firing the inputs or doing what we want them to. That will probably be in tandem with the 1.15 wiring because I'll need that to debug it as I build it. Where are we headed in the long run? Well... 
I want to make it multiplayer first so we can have multiple people training on the same server. I want to make it so we have challenges where you can challenge each other to see who can train the best racers, maze finders, pathfinders, resource gatherers, etc. I want to have leaderboards so you can see in real time how people are doing. And one of the big things is I want to make it so you can share, kind of similar how we do on GitHub, your neural nets that you've trained with other people and other people can fork it and build off of that. Now to make this long-term vision happen, I need some help. Last year, as I'm doing my taxes right now for 2019, I dropped over $2,000 on AWS servers, of which most was actually for Chaos Craft. Now I normally don't do this, and I kind of don't like doing it, but it's a lot of money to be running on this thing, and I really do enjoy doing this AI game work stuff, and I know a lot of you guys that follow me do as well. So I'm going to throw it out there. If you're interested in supporting my work, check me out on Patreon. As we get further and further along, I will grant early access to anybody that's a Patreon subscriber. You get access to the Patreon Discord channel, and you will get access to the early build multiplayer private server that I'm working on. That way, Patreons can get access to the bots as they learn, and they will have input into what simulations we want run, what experiments we do, all sorts of fun stuff. So anybody interested in being a Patreon, I would love to have your support. If you can't be a Patreon, don't worry about it. There's other things you guys can do. I really like it when you guys share my work, for example. Of course, the subs are great, too. I smash or gently press the sub button. I'm a bit gratuitous to smash, but that's fine. Uh, but yeah, your support means the world to me, and I really appreciate all the support I've gotten so far. So thank you, guys and girls and everyone. And uh, yeah, it's going to get exciting. With all that said, I leave you with this one final clip of a much less scientific experiment I ran when I first discovered that there were bees in 1.15. And I totally trolled villagers by putting them in their house. But thank you, guys. Until next time, this is Matt with Schematical, and this is Chaos Craft. Cheers.